Hello guys and welcome to another video. From the version 2 of our blogging GIF, WooCommerce, Product Patterns and Extra Options, we have included some new settings to configure the way the options are displayed in the product page. For example, we can now decide how many options we want to show per row or use the grid layout to adapt the dimensions of the options to the space available in the page. In this video, I will show you how we can use these layout settings in our options. But before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Perfect guys! Here we are inside the demo I use for the product add-ons videos. And today I will use this product, Engagement Ring, as an example to show you how we can use the display settings. Over here, we can see this option, Diamond Shape, and we see how the four options are showing in the same row. But this is something that we could easily change if we wanted to modify the layout. For example, show only one option per row to have them one below the other. So, in order to modify this option, what we need to do is access our block of options and from there go to the display settings inside the particular option we want to modify, in this case the diamond shape. So, let's begin by going over to our dashboard and from here we want to find GIF and click on product add-ons. Over here we have all of the previous blocks we have created in our previous videos. So, since I have already my block of options for the engagement ring product, right now I'm going to look for it here. Here it is, engagement ring for our engagement ring product. So, I will access it. This is the block of options. So, if I scroll down over here, we have all of the options we created for this particular product. And this is the option I want to modify it right now, diamond shape. To find the display settings, we need to go inside. So I will click here, edit. And now we can go over to display settings tab. From here, I will scroll down to find this. Options layout. From here, we will be able to change how the options are displayed in the product page. Right now, we are able to see the four options in the same row because here in options per row, we have it configured to five. So what I will do is change this to one so we can see the difference. I will now save and save here one more time. Perfect. Now we can go back to the demo. Here we are, I will scroll down and over here we are able to see the difference. Now there is only one option showing per row, so they are displayed one below the other. Something else we can notice now is that the options have different sizes. For example, these two are bigger than these two other options. So I want to show you another setting that we can use to display the options with the same size. For that, we need to go back to our block of options. We are back inside our block of options. So once again, I want to go inside our diamond shape. For that, we click here on edit. And once again, we go over to display settings. From here, we scroll down again over to options layout but this time I want to enable this second option, use a grid layout. With this option, we can adjust the options in a grid based on the page width. So I'm going to enable it. And once I do, we get this other option, options width. And for the moment, I am going to leave it set to 100. Now, let's save so we can see the changes from the demo. I save here and we need to save one more time over here. Perfect. Now we are ready to go back. Okay, I have refreshed the page. So over here, 
we can see the result with the grid layout enabled and the width set to 100%. Now the options have indeed the same size, but they look way too big. For this, we can adjust the width from 100 to, for example, 50%. For that, let's go back for a moment to our block of options. Okay, once again, we will go inside our diamond shape option. So I click here on edit. From here, we go to display settings and over to options layout. Now, like I mentioned, I'm going to change the width from 100 to 50%. There we go. Now I save and save here. Perfect. Now let's go back. Here we can see the difference. Now the options occupy only 50% of the space available and it does look better. However, there is also another layout we can try. For that, let's go back once again to our block of options. Okay, I will go back inside our diamond shape option. So I click here on edit. I go to display settings and from here, I scroll down to Options Layout. What I want to do now is change the number of options per row from one to two options. And I will also change the width from 50 back to 100%. This means each row will have two options and each option will occupy 50% of the space available. Now let's save and save one more time so we can go back. I have refreshed and this is what we have configured. We have two options per row and each one is occupying 50% of the space available. Now I have shown you all of these options so you can have a better idea of the different layouts you can achieve using our plugin. However, in this particular example, I believe the first layout we had with the four options in the same row was the best one. So let's go back to our block of options so we can configure it that way, with the only difference that I will leave the grid layout enabled. One last time, I will go inside our diamond shape option. So I click here on edit. I go to display settings and I scroll down to options layout. Here, I will change back the number of options per row to four, and I will leave the grid layout enabled and the width set to 100%. Now, one last time, I save and also save here so we can go back to see the final result. And here we have the final result. We have the four options in the same row and all of them have the same size. Now I want to show you the previous layout we had in the beginning so we can compare. Here it is. We had the same number of options per row, but in this case, the sizes of the options is different. Now the result is cleaner and more symmetrical because the grid allows us to have the same size for all of the options, no matter if the text or images are different. All you need to do is play around with these settings to find the best solution for your shop. Well guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye!